Tigrasconi. It may be the biggest local company you've never heard of. One year after a huge acquisition, a local payment processing company is poised for success. On the Business Courier front page centerpiece, WorldPay becomes an industry leader and a payments goliath. A year ago, Sims Township-based Vantive was a sizable, fast-growing company and a force in the U.S. payment processing, but it wasn't considered a huge corporate player in Cincinnati. That changed in January of 2018 when it made the biggest acquisition in its history, doubling annual net revenue to about $4 billion and more than doubling its employment to 8,000. Now it's become WorldPay, taking the name of the London-based company it bought, but it's still based here, making it a powerful global presence and one of Cincinnati's biggest companies. We are the largest payment, payment processor in the world for credit card and debit card. So to Mark's point in terms of being really proud of Cincinnati's heritage, to think of a payments company that really was founded um, in, within Fifth Third Bank, which is obviously headquartered right. here in Cincinnati, and then to have taken and grown that out of really the financial crisis into the largest credit card and debit card processor in the world. I mean, we're really yep. proud of that. The nearly $12 billion acquisition was by far the largest involving a local company last year and helped make World Pay the second largest locally based public company by market capitalization. CFO Stephanie Ferris and President and COO Mark Heimbach sat down with Business Courier reporter Steve Watkins. Steve joins us in the studio this morning along with Business Courier editor Rob Dahmeyer. Steve and Rob. Peg, thank you, and Steve, thanks for being here. Glad to do it. So why is WorldPay not a better-known company? <laughs> yeah, they should be. They're one of the biggest companies in the city, so yeah. you would think they are. A couple of reasons. Uh, one of the main ones is they've changed their name a couple of times, twice in the last eight years. Uh, they used to be part of Fifth Third Bank, and they were Fifth Third uh, Processing Solutions um, until 2011. Then they changed their name to Vantive when they were spun off. Right. They were not part of Fifth Third anymore. Then with this acquisition, they changed it to WorldPay again. So there's that identity issue. I made the point in the story, um, if you think about Kroger and Procter & Gamble, they've both had the same name for more than 100 years, going right. back to the 1800s, so right. big difference there. So, and what does the acquisition specifically uh, mean with uh, the London company, that, which was called WorldPay? Yeah, yeah, well, it, ma it makes a few huge differences. The main one being that now it's global, and uh, we didn't get into one of the other things, um, w actually going back to the point of why they're not well known. They're, they're processing these payments. Um, behind the scenes. So right. people stick their card in at the point of uh, purchase and they wait a couple of seconds impatiently and then the payment goes through. But WorldPay is doing all of that behind the scenes. They used to do it in the U.S. Pr pretty much strictly. Now with this acquisition they're global and the WorldPay that they bought that was based in England um, was big on e-commerce also. So gotcha. now uh, Vantive had some e-commerce, but not that much. Now they're global with their e-commerce, and most uh, retailers want to be global in the online offerings that they have. So it's a big deal there, and as we mentioned, it doubles their size, so it's made what one analyst called them a payments goliath. So right. they're huge in the industry now. So let's talk more specifically about that. <coughs> when you say huge, how big is the company? now since the acquisition. Yeah, well it's eight billion dollars now or four billion dollars in annual net revenue, eight thousand employees. So it, it's a major wow. company. Yeah. And uh, when when you talk about when you think about some of the dollar amounts, um, two hundred million dollars is what they expect to achieve um, annually in cost savings. Okay. Uh, as a result when you do acquisitions you eliminate a lot of duplicative costs. Right. Um, but the other thing that's not as common, they also expect to add a hundred million dollars in revenue and uh, that's a big deal they can cross sell to a lot of their clients that maybe needed a separate uh, payment processor for global so right. now they can cross sell well it's a great story uh, it's a company I'm sure we'll be writing a lot more about as as you Absolutely. know it's a very big company thanks for being here glad to do it